Okay, so there's a new range of rods out from Abu uh, called the Rocket. I'm holding one of the Rocket boats, and uh, I think Mike's got one of the Rocket spins there. Yeah, I've got one of the uh, spinning rods. Um, as you can see, extremely lightweight, very, very slim in it's diameter. Super light, isn't it? Perfect for sort of garfish, for single yeah. mackerel, for school bus, off the boat, black bream. <laughs> it's a great You can have some fun yeah. with that, you? you can have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Little sort of 3,000 size fixed full rig, yeah. 15 pound braid, what an outfit you've Brilliant. Got. Yeah, that's a really good thing. What's uh, what uh, sizes do they do these? Are there two or three in the range? Yeah, the we, do, we do three sizes. Um, you're looking at um, casting weights. All the way up to sort of 85 gram. Right. Um, this one's the, the, the lighter right. version. I mean, perfect with sort of 25 gram weight. Yeah. You know, absolutely perfect. Brilliant. There's also three boat rugs in the range: 12, 20, 20, 30, and 30, 50. Right. Again, you'll notice very, very slim, very, 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 very weight. Yeah. What you might be slightly surprised about is the RRP. The boat rods are 50 pounds. Really? Yeah. That's cheap. It offers an awful lot of performance that's a, that's for that sort of money. Very cheap. Um, for a rod of that quality. If you, if you look as well, they're really sweet. Yeah. Items, you know, nice, and, <laughs> nice and sweet in the tip, but a lot of power in that midsection. Yeah, you can see that. Very nice. 50 quid, folks. Come on. Equal section. That's a hell of a lot of rod for that money. People are looking now for equal section again because you know they can store them in the car relatively yeah. easy. They're quite concerned about security. The good well thing about equal section, section rods on a boat as well is you know, if you take your three or four different rods with you exactly. on a long trip, just chuck it in the wheelhouse rather than That's laying it round the deck. That's exactly right. You know, just chuck it which, down below, can't you? Which is why we've gone that way. Yeah. And you've also got the fighting foregrip to the uh, extra long yeah, foregrip, that's nice. so you can get two hands on, Yeah. which is quite important now You know, when you're fighting bigger fish. It is, I mean, you know, this is rated 12 to 20 pound class. Um, slap a reel on there with 30 pound braid on, which is pretty much all I use for my fishing all, all throughout the year. You, know, you hook something decent on that, like a, a 25 to 30 pound blown ray, yeah. you know, you're going to need that <laughs> so, right. just to hang on. Actually, one of the retailers at one of the previous trade shows said something quite important, actually, which you know you, you'd think you'd think about, but I've got to be honest, I didn't. Right. He said for 150 quid, they've got a 1220, a 2030, <laughs> and a 3050 rod. You've got everything you're going to need. You've got everything you? you're going to need yeah. for 150 quid. So Super. It's, it's quite, uh, quite impressive. Yeah. Really. Very, very nice. Also in the range is a, a 9 foot 8 up tider. Right. Rated 4 to 10. Yeah. But it will really get behind 8 ounce and a big bait. Right. Um, still sell quite a few up tiders, obviously, to the Bristol Channel, yeah. Thames Estuary area. And um, one or two guys now are using up tiding. It sort of. It didn't lose favour, but it sort of, you know, just disappeared a little bit, didn't it? it and now did. up off Whitby, they've gone back to up tiding for the okay, cod in the Whitby. Big time. time. I, mean, I, I fish up there favorite. every year with yeah. Paul Kilpatrick. You know, he, right. he was one of the first guys up there to sort of kick off the That's inshore right. lure fishing. You're only talking three miles offshore. Yeah. They've got the winter up tiding festival. Always catch loads of cod up there. And That's like right. I say, using the lures and stuff, they've gone much, much lighter up there with their fishing, which is great to see. Yes, yeah. you know. You look, go back 10 years, it was all 50 pound class rods. And exactly, yeah. <laughs> it has changed. Hooks and rippers, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. But uh, yeah, 150 quid and you've got three rods. You know, I can't believe that's 50 quid. It is quite an impressive It's an price, impressive piece it? of kit, yeah. yeah. The Abu Rocket. Yeah. Take, a look at those. Take a look for those because uh, yeah, if, if you're a newcomer to the sport, it's going to last you a lifetime. Um, if you've been fishing for donkey's years and you've got your favourite rods and whatever, but you think, oh, I could do with a 12, 20, or I could do with a 30, 50, have a look. You can't go wrong for 50 quid.